Hey hey. Soy. The last frame rate upgrade guide video was really helpful. I think my Skyrim FPS has improved a lot. By the way. I've been using modern combat mods lately and I have no idea which patch to use. Where the heck can I download these patches? I just don't know. Soy. Please help me. Are you suffering from the stress of not being able to patch a modern combat mod? Are you still wandering the world of YouTube and Tez Nexus because you can't find a perfectly organized guide video for this patch mod? Don't wander anymore. Today I will tell you about the perfect patch mods for the modern combat mod. I have prepared mods that will definitely help you. So please don't leave the video in the middle and watch it until the end. So let's begin. The first patch mod to introduce is Simpler Dragon Targeting. Simpler Dragon Targeting is a patch mod for true directional movement. Previously, when locking on a dragon using the lock-on function in true directional movements, there was a phenomenon that the camera was moved too far down or the camera was shaking violently. In particular, as your character gets closer to the dragon, the downward camera focus gets worse, and when it gets worse, it gets dizzy and unplayable. By the way, Simpler Dragon Targeting is an amazing patch mod that fixes the camera to be in the proper position when locking on the dragon. Don't be afraid to lock on dragons anymore. Simpler Dragon Targeting will help keep the camera in the right place even when you lock on your dragon. The second patch mod to introduce is Precision Creatures. Precision Creatures is a mod that adds precision to creatures such as Vampire Lords, Werewolves, and Draugrs. Precision Creatures now add Precision Hitbox and Precision Pitch Adjustment while transformed into Vampire Lords and Werewolves. And that's not all. Precision Creatures fixes an issue with moving cameras stuttering, and also fixes an issue with sprint cameras acting like it was drunk. Also fixes kill cam delay when killing a human while in werewolf form. Precision Creatures is a great patch mod that comes with Vampire Lord's claw length and precision patches, and also supports Draugr's fast get up feature. The third patch mod to introduce is Fixed Equip Sprint Bug Fix. Fixed Equip Sprint Bug Fix is a patch mod that fixes a bug where your sprint speed slows down when you draw out your weapon while sprinting. So in this case, you had to stop the sprint and press the sprint button again. This wasn't a critical bug, but it was one of those bugs that bothered you quite a bit. However, with the Fixed Equip Sprint Bug Fix, you can now comfortably take out your weapon during a sprint. Don't suffer from bugs anymore. Fixed Equip Sprint Bug Fix can be used without ESP if you use Nemesis. Just run Nemesis, check Fixed Equip Sprint Bug Fix and run Nemesis Engine once. Therefore, I recommend that you use the Fixed Equip Sprint Bug Fix whenever possible. The fourth patch mod to introduce is Animated Armory Precision Whips Patch. Animated Armory Precision Whips Patch fixes hitboxes to be more accurate when using whip weapons in precision mode and animated armory. Animated Armory's whip is in the one-handed mace category in Skyrim, so precision treats it as a one-handed mace in effect. Therefore, precision outputs the one-handed blunt hitbox rather than the whip hitbox we think which is much shorter than we would expect. But, this mod changes Whip's hitbox to be more longer. The Whip's hitbox is now longer, 
so you can hit enemies from further away. This allows the advantages of the whip to be implemented through precision, and you can now use the whip strategically. So if you're using animated armory, try this patch mod to make your whip's hitbox more realistic. In case of MCO, each weapon's speed mult is reflected in the moveset. Therefore, if you equip a weapon with a fast attack speed, your moveset will be fast, and if you equip a weapon with a slow attack speed, your moveset will be slow. However, MCO sometimes triggers a vanilla power attack. This is solved by using ADXP. However, ADXP does not reflect the speed mult of each weapon in the moveset. By the way, would you believe there is an MCO patch that disables even vanilla power attacks while reflecting each weapon's speed mult in the moveset? The mod I'm going to introduce this time is MCO No Directional Power Attacks. This mod is a patch mod that allows the weapon's speed mult function to work in MCO, but disables the vanilla power attack. Now, when using MCO, left and right power attacks will trigger the MCO moveset, and vanilla sprint forward power attacks will no longer trigger. In a way, it is a mixture of MCO and ADXP functions. By the way, surprisingly, there were quite a few players who wanted this. If you, among viewers, want to apply the speed mult function like this and not activate the vanilla power attack, please try this mod. Have you ever panicked when using the MCO hand-to-hand -hand moveset and couldn't defend it? Have you ever wished it had been replaced with a defense rather than a clumsy left-hand attack? The hand-to-hand -hand block fix mod replaces left-hand attack with defense in the MCO hand-to-hand moveset. When fighting enemies bare-handed, you had to use dodge even if you couldn't block, but now you can block comfortably. Have you ever used Valhalla Combat and Roguelike Encounters mod together, but still didn't know that there was a patch for Valhalla Combat and RLE mod? If so, please use this right away. Valhalla Combat RLE patch is a mod that allows Valhalla Combat's execution system to be applied to Roguelike Encounters creatures as well. The creator set the race mapping value so that the execution of Valhalla is applied by finding the code value of each Roguelike Encounters creature. Now let's travel through Skyrim and execute RLE creatures. This is the end of the introduction video for ultimate bug fix and patch for modern combat mod. Thank you very much for watching the video till the end. Subscriptions, likes, and notification settings are very helpful for channel growth. Then see you next time.